Ah, oh, hey there, beautiful people. This is Faith, and I just took a nice little walk. Actually, it was about three miles here in New Orleans, and in the quarters and along the Mississippi River. It was great. And then I got back and I started doing my like little stretch routine that I use to kind of cool down. So I decided to record it. So here it is. Join me for a nice stretch, cool down. This can be used after a walk, after a run, after any kind of intense cardio. Um, we're going to work the entire body. So we're going to stretch out the legs, hips, shoulders, chest, arms, and then kind of decompress. We might do a little abs. I think I might throw some abs in there as well. Okay. So kind of join me. Oh my. This is going to be very raw and relaxed. Um, definitely, if you need any props, if you need a strap or a block, feel free to grab that. But it's not going to be really necessary. We're going to start by just placing the soles of the feet on the mat. Knees are bent. You're going to place your hands on your shins. I'm just going to pause here for a moment. Just going to feel. Now, if being in this position is too much or you want to like opt for something else, if you're feeling a little tight, on your inner thighs or your groins, you want to bring the soles of the feet together and open the knees wide. That might feel really good to you. So just kind of listening to your body in this moment, whatever feels good. Now let's take another deep breath in. Exhale, empty out. And then we're going to get into loosening any tension, stress in the hips. This is great for hip flexibility. And I like doing this particular movement not just after a long walk or run or any cardio, but I kind of like doing this every day, especially if you sit a lot. So I'm doing this hands-free, right? Just swinging my knees from right to left. My feet are about hip bone distance apart, or sorry, they are more like hip distance apart, or if you're on a yoga mat, they're wide as your mat. So a little bit wider than your hips. If you need to, you can always place your hands behind you. And just let it swing from right to left. And just so you know, I haven't really planned out this sequence. I'm just kind of doing it on the fly for you guys. All right, I'm going to swing a little bit more right to left. Again, you can do hands free, but you want to still control it so you would still somewhat engage your core. And, you know, if you have some music going, I might add some music in here for you guys. I like moving my arms a little bit. Okay, so this, I don't really count it out. I just kind of feel it out. Almost like about a minute or two. And if you need to pause, you can. So I say we would do about 30 more seconds, yeah? Nice and easy. Okay. Okay. So you're going to swing the legs all the way over to the left side and the right knee is going to come right around the left foot. So you're going to twist and that means that the right hip is off the mat, right? And you're going to take a gentle twist. And we're going to move with this twist. So you're going to inhale forward and then exhale twist. Left hand behind you, right hand can come to your left knee. Inhale forward, exhale twist. Let's do four of these and one more. Inhale forward, exhale twist. Now on this last one, we're just going to hold, kind of tenting my left hand behind me. Try not to collapse in the body, but still keep the spine long. And then we're going to drop into a nice fold. Ooh, this is going to feel good. So you're going to start to walk your hands out. Now if this is too much, right, you just kind of adjust. You kind of come a little bit closer to your left thigh. I want a nice deep twist, so I'm kind of keeping that openness, or I'm actually twisting the body a little deeper, so you feel a little more openness through the right side. And then I'm going to, oh, oh, yeah, drop down to my forearms. Again, my right hip is off the mat. I'm just going to go to where it feels good for you. My spine is still elongated, so I'm not collapsing here. I'm still reaching forward with the crown of my head. Again, palms, forms on the mat, or just fingertips on. One more breath. 
Start to slowly lift your body up. Oh, yeah. And then swing the legs all the way over to the other side. So now the right foot is going to touch your left knee. Left foot is up. Don't talk about me, y'all, if my, my feet are ashy. Because <laughs> I just went for a run. Okay, so here we go. You're going to take a deep breath. And exhale, twist to your right. Inhale, back center. Exhale, twist. Again, right hand is behind you. Left hand is going to land to your right knee. Inhale, forward. Exhale. And one more. Inhale, forward. Exhale, twist. So again, I'm going to hold here for a little bit. Deep breaths. Keep those shoulders relaxed. Chin is parallel to the earth. Easy breaths. Right, let's take one more deep breath here. Exhale. And then start to take that fold. So you're twisting and folding past your right thigh. So again, palms can stay on the mat. Fingertips can stay on the mat. If you want to go deeper, continue to walk your hands behind you. Remember the left hip is off the mat. And then drop the forearms to the mat. And again, just breathing here. Again, try not to collapse in your shoulders. Draw the shoulders away from your ears. Spine is still long. Crown of the head is reaching forward. So it's like you're gazing a little bit towards your fingertips or almost towards my thumbs, kind of where I'm looking because I don't want to crank my neck. All right, I'm going to take two more breaths here. Deep inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Slowly lift your upper body. Walk your fingertips and hands in. Bring your body back to center. Extend those legs out in front of you and just give them a little shake. Ooh, jiggle, jiggle, a wobble, wobble, a wiggle, wiggle. Little windshield wiper of the feet. All right, maybe rotate those ankles a little bit. Flex and point the feet if that feels good. Oh, that was a crack. All righty. We're going to make our way over to our hands and knees. You're going to come onto all fours. I have my blanket. Um, so definitely, if you need to cushion your knees, grab a blanket, grab a towel. Place that right there in the middle of your mat. So your knees are underneath your hips, wrists are underneath your shoulders. You're going to spread those fingers wide. And we're simply going to rock the hips from right to left. Mm. I'm going to go on and flip my head around here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Spread those fingers wide. Then we're going to make our way into a child's pose. So we're going to bring the big toes together. The knees are going to open out wide. And you're just going to drop those hips right there towards your heels. That means the belly and chest are going to land between your thighs. And we're just going to get a nice stretch. So this is why I wanted to flip my hat. I'm going to take three more breaths here. Deep inhale. If you want to stretch to the side body, you can reach your fingers forward or you just want to chill. Just let the arms relax. Last two breaths. Deep inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Go on and walk your hands over to the left side of your mat. So you feel that nice stretch to the right side of the body. Hips are still heavy towards your heels. One more breath. Go ahead and walk your hands all the way over to the right side. Mm. I have to tell you guys, my left side of my body is super tight. All right. I've had like weird injuries there, so it's always doing something crazy. And today's like one of those days where 
The left side of my rib cage and my hips are ripped tight on the left sides. This feels really good. Mm. I feel it all the way up through my armpit. One more breath. Bring your beautiful body all the way back to the center. And then rise back up. All right. So, again, if you did some cardio, you did a walk, like all that stuff, your, um, your legs are going to probably be a little tight and calf muscles. So this next little move is really nice. It's great for the spine, but then we're going to add a little leg stretch here. So... If you know cat and cow, right, you drop the belly, lift the chest, and then round the back on the exhale, right? Belly drops, heart lifts, exhale, round. So we're going to continue that move, but we're going to do some leg lifts to still kind of engage the glute muscles that you've already worked through your cardio. So here we go. You're going to inhale, lift the right leg up, lift the chest, exhale, round the back, knee to nose. So we're getting in a little core work here. Inhale, lift, exhale, round. Now I like to point my toes on this, but know that you can also flex. It's up to you. Three more. Last one. Now here's the little core work. You're going to reach your right leg behind you. Flex your right foot. Make sure your right toes are going down towards the earth. Draw your navel in and then extend the left, le uh, left arm out in front of you. Hold here for three more breaths. Draw the navel in and up. Lower your left hand, and here comes the nice stretch. You're going to swing that right leg all the way over to the left side of the mat. Drop your right foot down so you're on the ball of your right foot. And then gaze over your left shoulder. Two more breaths. All right, bring your body back to center. You're going to take that right knee in towards your belly and chest and then step your right foot all the way between your hands. So if you need to give that foot a little tug, go on and do that. You're going to start to lean forward so we come into a nice lunge. And then your hands can just kind of rest right there on your right thigh. Now, if you want to get into your shoulders and chest, I'm going to invite you to take your hands behind you Interlace the fingers, let those arms slide down that left calf muscle or towards your left calf muscle, right there behind your left hamstring. Still breathing. And know that you can lift your chin just lightly to kind of gaze up. I'm kind of looking out my window right now. One more breath. Okay, we're still going to work on this left calf quad here. Ooh, yeah, yummy. You're going to place your left hand down, right? You can make a fist or the entire left palm on the mat and then start to twist. You're going to exhale into that right thigh. The right hand can rest on your right thigh and hip, but know that you can also start to ooh, lordy, bend that left leg and then even take that right hand, reach back and grab the left foot. Anyway, as you do that, press the foot into the hand and let the hip sink. But be mindful not to let that right knee open out to the side, right? Keep the entire sole of your right foot on the mat. Chest is lifting and you breathe. Let's do about three more breaths here. So wherever you are is perfect. One more breath. Now, if you're holding onto that left foot, gently release it. Let the left foot fall to the mat and the right hand is going to come outside your right foot. Draw your hips back, keeping the left knee on the mat. Mm. Now, as the hips go back, the right leg is straight. You're flexing the right foot. The toes are pointing up, and you're leaning out and over that right thigh. Fingertips or palms on the mat, doesn't matter. You can even use books under your hands if you need to, or blocks. Holding here. Three more breaths. Go a little deeper if you can. Last breath. I put a gentle bend in that right knee. Palms are going to come to the mat. You're going to curl your left toes under. Lift your left knee off the earth. 
and then step back into a nice down dog. Now in this down dog, we're just going to move around a little bit. Pedal your feet, shift your hips from right to left. And then you're going to go right down onto all fours again. So coming back onto all fours, spreading those fingers wide. Knees under hips, wrist under shoulders. Yeah, let's swing the hips a little bit one more time. Just gently moving those hips from right to left. Okay, come on back to center. And remember that cow, cat cow variation that we did earlier, adding the leg. Here we go. We have six of these. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, round. Two. Three, make sure you're engaging the glute. Four. Five. And six. Keep that left leg up, flex the left foot, draw the navel in. Make sure that left leg is doing a nice inward rotation. And then as you find your balance, draw the navel in and then extend your right arm out in front of you. One more breath. Drop the right hand down. Swing that left leg all the way over to the right side, press through the left heel, and then go on and gaze over your right shoulder. Two more breaths. Press through that left heel. Last breath. Okay, here we go. Slide that left knee in. Step that left foot all the way to the top of your mat, bending deep in that left leg. Lift your chest, feel that right quad stretch, feel that groin stretch. Keep the hips sinking forward. And again, the hands can rest on your left thigh. You can also take your hands behind you, interlace your fingers, draw the arms down as you lift your chest. And just checking and making sure you're spreading the left toes wide here. And that left heel remains on the mat. So if the heel starts popping up, inch your left foot forward. One more breath. All right, let's move into the twist. The right hand is going to go down. This may be enough, right? And the left hand can come to your thigh and you start to twist. The add-on. Mm-hmm. The juicy part. Start to bend your right knee. Stop there. If this is enough, you just hold and you go, oh, lordy. Right? But if you want to go deeper, take a deep inhale, exhale, sweep that left arm behind you. Left hand is going to grab your right foot and then you drop in a little bit deeper. Be mindful of that left knee. Still keeping your chest up. Breathing deep in and out of your nose. Let's take two more breaths here. And then if you're holding onto your right foot, gently release it. Drop your left hand down outside your left foot and then draw all your hips back. Mm. Flex that left foot. Toes are pointing straight up towards the ceiling. We breathe and we hold. Mm. And really feeling it through the hamstring, through the calf muscle. Maybe you're a little tight in the Achilles. You might feel it a little bare. Two more breaths here. And then gently bend your left knee, plant the palm on the mat, curl your right toes under, straighten your right leg, and then slowly step your left foot back. Find your down dog. This time in down dog, you're going to rise into the balls of your feet. Exhale, press the heels down. Inhale, rise into the balls of your feet. Exhale, press the heels down. We're going to do that three more times. Keep the triceps hugging in, fingers spreading wide. And the heels do not have to touch the floor. One more. And then inhale out into plank pose. And then lower your knees to the mat. And from here, we're going to come on to our backs. And we're going to do, I think they call it dead bug pose. I don't know. Well, we're going to do it. Um, I think it's called dead bug. Oh, 
I flip this around. Okay. So you're going to bend your knees. Knees are over your hips. You're going to take your arms up to the sky. So this is just a little core work, just a little bit, not a lot. And then you're going to inhale, extend your left leg as the right arm goes overhead. And then bring it back in to meet the right leg and left arm. <laughs> so then opposite arm, opposite leg. Extend and bring it in. And extend and bring it in. So hopefully you're joining me by now. You may want to make sure that you are pressing the lower back into the mat. Now, I'm not going to count these out. I just want you to find your pace and your rhythm. Do as many as you can because we're just adding in a little core work. If it becomes too much, you can keep your arms up and just move the legs. Sometimes I like to just take both arms overhead and keep the legs moving. And I typically do anywhere from like 20 to 30 of these, but again, we're not counting things out today. We're just kind of going with the flow, pausing where we need to. And breathing. Now I'm going to take both arms overhead, keep the legs moving. Again, if you need to pause, pause. All right, I think we're about done with this. And bring both knees in. Give yourself a nice loving hug. Rock a little bit from right to left. I'm going to move into a little happy baby. So your flat feet are going to flex. The knees are going to open out wide. And you're going to grab the outer edges of your feet. I'm just going to rock a little bit from side to side. And then if you want, you can straighten one leg at a time, both legs at a time. Right, kind of find your movement in your happy baby. And then bring the soles of your feet together. Take your hands, wrap them around the pinky edge side of your feet. And then you're going to open the knees out wide as your heels and inner arches kind of come closer to your body. All right, draw the knees back in. Place both feet on the floor. Knees are bent. You're going to take your right leg, lift it up to the sky. Your hands can go behind your right hamstring, your calf muscle, or you can reach and grab your foot. Know that if you have a strap, you can wrap the strap around your foot as well. Now that left leg can stay bent. If you want to straighten the left leg, feel free to do that as well. I'm going to take a few more breaths here. All right, so if that left leg is straight, bend it. You're going to do a nice little figure four. So you're going to cross that right ankle over the left leg, and then you're going to lift your left foot off the mat, thread the needle, slide the hands right there behind your hamstring, and draw that left leg in. Again, you can stay right here. If you want to get a little bit deeper in that hip, you're going to cradle your right leg. So that right foot's going to come to the elbow crease of your left leg, that left leg is going to fall down, and then you're going to wrap your arm around your right knee, and then the hands are going to interlace together. Keep your head and shoulders on the mat. Now, the left shoulder will probably be up, but that's okay. Definitely keep the head on the mat. One more breath. Gently bring that left foot in. If you have that deeper hip stretch, but wherever you are, let go. And then maybe shake that right leg out. Okay. 
Let's do it all on the other side. Take your left leg, extend it up to the sky so we get in that hamstring. And you're going to bend your right leg. Hands behind your left hamstring, calf muscle, or reach and grab your left foot. Keep your head on the mat. Now again, you can stay right here. If you want to straighten that right leg, go for it. Two more breaths. All right, let's move into that figure four. So the right knee is bent. The left ankle is going to cross slightly above the right knee. And then you're going to lift your foot right foot off the mat. Again, this may be enough. You stay right here. Or you can slide your hands between your legs, left hand between your leg, interlace your fingers around your right hamstring. Keep flexing that left foot. Actually flex both feet and draw that left leg in. Now, I told you guys my left hip's tighter. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it right here. I'm still going to go for the deeper stretch because I know my body. So if you know your body and you need to pause and stay right here, you stay. Or you can join me for that deeper one. So I'm going to drop the right leg, hook that foot right there in the crease, the right arm, and then slide my left hand around my left knee and quad. Uh-huh. Yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying doing this with me. It's literally, I'm feeling it right now. I don't know if you are. My left hip is no joke. Deep breaths in and out of your nose. I always have to remind myself of that as well. Uh -huh. That hip. It's important to do these leg stretches, especially, right, not only because you've done a walk, a run, or some kind of like active cardio, strength training, stuff like that. But if you sit a lot, oh my goodness, these stretches are great. It's not only great for your legs, your feet, right? We're stimulating all of the nerve endings in our feet in the process. But we are also getting into our back and shoulders, which is just as important, right? The spine compresses so much when we're seated. Okay, slowly release. Take that left leg. Again, you can shake it, shake it, shake it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that leg swing, that windshield wiper that we did seated, we're going to do it here as well. So you're just going to let your legs move from right to left. And let those knees go over as far as it feels comfortable for you. And again, just move at your own pace. We're almost done here. Almost done. Okay, so you're going to bring both knees in. Do you guys want to do some more core work? I think we should. I think we should. And then we'll chill. Then we'll chill. So you're going to bring both knees in. Flex your feet. Arms are out to the side. And then breathe in. As you exhale, you're going to lower your knees over to the left. But don't let them touch the floor. And then bring them back up on the inhale. Exhale. Knees to the right. Bring it on back up. Oh, fire truck or something. Oh, actually, that's the police car. We'll be done in a minute. So find your pay pace and just let those knees drape over from one side to the other without touching. And don't worry, we're not going to do a lot of these. Now bring your knees back to center. And we're just going to let both knees drop all the way over to the left side. And as you do, you want to keep those arms out wide. Enjoy this twist. Mm-hmm. 
And close the eyes and just breathe deeply in and out of the nose. One more breath here. And slowly bring those legs back up. Oh. Maybe rotate your ankles, flex or point the feet a little bit. And then when you're ready, bend your knees again because we're going to take it all the way over to the right side. So I'll let those knees drop. Oh, my little plants over here, tickling my toes. Full breath in, full breath out. Relaxing your shoulders, stretching through the spine, releasing any tension even here through the hips. We're going to take three more breaths. See, so you can hang Exhale. Last one. And slowly bring your legs back to center. Give yourself one more nice little hug. You can even lift your head and shoulders up. So you bring your nose and knees to touch. And then release. And then you have the option of opening the knees wide. So you kind of get into your groins a little bit. The soles of the feet are going to come together. Knees are going to separate. We're not going to be here long. So you can kind of chill here. This can be your nice relaxation place. But you can also let the legs open wide and just take up some more space. So whichever you opt for, I'll say we'll be here for about a minute or two. Just kind of chilling. Mm. And again, the arms can be wherever you want them, nice and wide. Sometimes I like to stack one form on top of the other and get a little stretch in the process here through my side body and armpits. Yeah. Know that you can slow the breath down here. Mm. And just be. And know if you want to chill and relax for a little bit longer, you're definitely welcome to do that. If you're all done, if your knees are open wide, just slide your hands behind your thighs to gently bring the legs together. And then again, draw those knees in towards your chest. Gently roll over to one side, whichever side works for you. Pause for a moment. Hmm. And then whenever you're ready, go on and lift yourself up. Find a nice cross-leg position or comfortable seat wherever. Hmm. Or a comfortable seat, whatever works for you. 
hot. And place your hands on your legs, palms facing down, just feeling a nice grounded sensation move through your body. And then thank yourself for not only getting active, moving, maybe with your cardio activity, but taking time to slow down and pause and nourish your body your mind, and also your soul. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, my name is Faith Hunter, and let me know if you want a few more of these. I always come back and do a nice little stretch routine and sometimes, sometimes I do a little mini baby weights. So if you're down for just getting the uncrazy edits or just post-workout stuff with me, just... um share it in the comments. Take care, guys. Ciao.